Now I'm no Oprah, but I know everything that moves in this building. Apparently, Wendy Williams' outcry about exposing Hollywood elites has shocked the heart of the entertainment industry. Now, you know this is in line with what many other celebrities have said, especially about that one major TV host that's often in everyone's mouth. Here's including Cat Williams speaking out against the Hollywood mogul, for example. In a whole different realm of business. <laughs> it would appear Wendy Williams agrees with him as she shares the details of Oprah sidelining her. This drama has sparked controversy among fans, leaving many wondering what's truly happening and what exactly Wendy Williams means. Revealing, why didn't she have sponsorship? You know yeah, what I mean? Uh-huh, right. I mean, it, listen, it was riveting. Like, she needed to have had... Wendy is known for being candid and not shy about discussing Hollywood matters. Recently, she allegedly pointed out that Sherry Shepard may have struck a deal with Oprah Winfrey, supposedly trading her integrity for something in return. Sherry Shepard is in the spotlight for allegedly reaching out to Oprah to advance her interests. In light of the fact that Oprah has reportedly maintained friendships with controversial figures like Harvey Weinstein, who has been involved in illegal activity, Activities, you can understand why people might fight that weirdly. Apparently, reports also suggest that Oprah has attempted to promote these individuals in Hollywood to maintain her influence and authority. Many influential Hollywood celebrities are troubled by this situation. They work hard to build their reputations, but allegedly, individuals like the TV mogul make it difficult for them to succeed. As a result, they are now reportedly speaking out against the injustices they see happening in the industry. The feud between Oprah and Wendy dates back many years. Wendy, known for her outspokenness and bravery, has spoken out against injustices, including discussing the TV mogul on her show multiple times. <laughs> many fans speculate that Oprah is now supporting Sherry Shepard and preventing Wendy from returning to her show because she feels threatened by Wendy potentially exposing her. For more than a decade, Wendy Williams kept her audience entertained with a blend of humor and sharp commentary, often poking fun at celebrities and their blunders. She stuck to her unique style despite shifts in the industry and personal challenges. Right from the start, her bold approach caught attention, with the New York Times labeling her as startlingly mean-spirited in 2008. While this honesty won her a dedicated fan base, it also brought criticism for being too harsh. However, recently, sources have disclosed that Wendy is unhappy about her replacement, Sherry Shepard, seeking advice from the renowned television icon Oprah Winfrey. According to insiders, it feels like the whole world is against Wendy. Wendy had to beg reality stars to appear on her show, and here is Sherry getting calls out of the blue from Oprah. If Oprah turns up on Sherry's show as a guest in Wendy's old studio, Wendy will explode. This isn't the first time it's alleged that Oprah has tried to sideline Wendy Williams because she's afraid Wendy might expose her. Allegedly, the TV mogul has also assisted other Hollywood moguls in launching their careers, including P. Diddy, also known as Sean Love Combs. When Diddy was kickstarting his rapping career, Combs attempted to purchase a channel directly from cable TV giant Comcast. However, he humorously admitted that they turned him down. However, when Comcast required government approval for a significant stake in NBC Dart Universal, they agreed to carry several channels owned by non-white businessmen to uphold diversity. Combs Revolt was one of the 10 projects selected, designed as a music-focused channel with a significant presence on social media. And even though Revolt doesn't carry his name, Combs is aware that many will perceive it as a cable TV extension of his brand, similar to how Oprah Winfrey handled the OWN channel. So he reached out to the queen of all media herself for some advice. Combs said, she just said it's a lot of hard work, she was honest. It's a gift and curse being a celebrity where people think you're doing something because you're a celebrity and they can't understand you have a great business mind too. Combs teamed up with experienced people in Hollywood to support him. In 1994, Williams started her career at New York City's Hot 97 radio station. Around the same time, the Bad Boy record label, co-founded by Combs in 1993 in partnership with Arista Records as per the BBC, was showcasing talents like the notorious Big, Lil' Kim, Ma Dollar E, Faith Evans, and Total, who received regular airplay on the radio. On an episode of her radio show, The Wendy Williams Experience, aired in 2009, Wendy Williams shared a story about an incident during her time at Hot 97. She claimed that Sean Combs supposedly instructed members of Total, an all-female R&B trio, to confront her. Wendy explained, I got off the air one day, the Total B were downstairs, and everybody upstairs at the radio station was looking down, egging it on, waiting for something to go down. 
During the same interview in 2022, Burroughs discussed the feud between Bad Boy and Death Row Records in the 1990s and Wendy Williams' involvement. He mentioned that Sean Combs' baby son and the child's mother, Misa Hilton, were paid to take a picture with Combs' rival, Suge Knight. Somehow, Wendy learned about the photo and hinted at important news on her radio show. The bad boy team had to intervene to prevent the photo from spreading. Later, Wendy suggested that Combs might be engaging in S activities with other men. She received a photo allegedly showing a man pulling Combs' shorts down while he was on vacation in Cancun. Combs' former bodyguard Jean Deal claimed Combs had Wendy fired from Hot 97 before she could discuss the photo on air. Wendy mentioned her departure from the New York City radio market in a 2013 interview with Vlad TV while talking about homophobia in hip-hop. However, what's most noteworthy is when Wendy proposed on her talk show in 2015 that Combs might have been controlling after his temporary split with his then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. It appears that individuals like Oprah Winfrey had a conflict with Wendy Williams because she attempted to uncover the truth about what was happening in Hollywood. Oprah has been seen partying with Diddy and has also shared photos of them having a good time together. She shared a photo of herself with Diddy and Kanye West, along with a caption. Late night with the fellas? But she wasn't just with those guys. There have been other parties where Diddy has always been present alongside Oprah. Diddy is known in Hollywood for hosting big parties that sometimes involve controversies. In an interview, Oprah even asked Diddy about the parties he hosted. You're known for your legendary parties. What's the most fun you've had hosting? To which Diddy replied, I'd probably have to say the first white clothing party. I wanted to strip away everyone's image and put us all in the same color and on the same level. Many people are speculating if Oprah was also a part of those parties, as she has been spotted with him on numerous occasions. It seemed like they had a close bond that wasn't evident to everyone just by watching the screen. Diddy frequently sits beside Oprah at parties, leading many to believe that they share secrets about Hollywood that nobody else knows. Many people Oprah has been hanging out with keep getting in trouble. Well, it looks like a similar situation is happening again, with Winfrey's favorite doctor making headlines once more. Whenever there's a controversy involving the famous doctor, Doctor, Dr. Oz, Oprah's name often gets brought into the conversation too. My friend and mentor, Oprah Winfrey! Oz began making regular appearances on The Oprah Winfrey Show, becoming a well-known figure by providing medical advice on the popular talk show. Yes. And, you know, and Oprah told me a long time ago that, that you would come on the show yes. when you had something important to share with our audience. And yes. you stayed faithful to that comment. Yes. So you now 400 shows in, you are here. Do you like the digs? I love you the built this. He appeared a total of 62 times and contributed to various spin-off projects of Winfrey's, including Oprah's Guide to Own, Ask Oprah's All Stars, O, The Oprah Magazine, and her Sirius XM radio station. In 2009, Oz gained his own spin-off show, The Dr. Oz Show, which ran for 1,681 episodes over 13 years and was co-produced by Winfrey's Harpo Productions Harpo Studios. The show concluded on January 14, 2022, as Oz decided to focus on his Senate bid. In 2016, then-presidential candidate Donald Trump appeared on Dr. Oz's show, where Oz examined Trump's health reports and declared him to be in excellent physical health. However, the segment received criticism from critics, with media outlet Vox describing it as disturbing and expressing concerns about the potential influence on the presidential race. A Canadian journalist, Julia Belouz, wrote, The embodiment of this post-factual era, Donald Trump, met the embodiment of medical misinformation today, on TV. And the stakes aren't just the usual Dr. Oz hijinks, misleading statements, they could influence the presidential race. Like a good piece of theater, this collision shouldn't just entertain us, it should disquiet us too. Many people brought up Oprah's name in discussions, believing that she supported Dr. Oz and helped him gain recognition. Oprah has faced similar scrutiny before, as she once invited John of God onto her show, who later turned out to be a criminal facing multiple charges. Oprah Winfrey faced criticism for her connections with the spiritual healer John of God. Winfrey initially featured John of God on her show on November 10, 2010, in an episode titled, Do You Believe in Miracles? It's a spiritual medium. What does that mean, a medium? Medium? Eu sou espiritualista. As a medium, he's a spiritualist. He believes a great deal in God. 
However, about eight years later, on December 17th, João Teixeira de Faria, also known as John of God, was arrested in Abadiania, Brazil, on SA charges. Victims of the spiritual healer reported over 600 accusations. Everybody is a medium who practices good, and we are all children of God, and each person has their mission. Many media outlets and fans are pointing fingers at Oprah for providing a platform to the Brazilian man, which they believe enabled him to harm more lives. John was sentenced to 370 years in prison and is currently serving time at the Aparecida de Goiânia complex, as reported by Bustle. Many people have accused Oprah of enabling John to gain the followers he needed to carry out the atrocities he committed and even promote him on her show. The story does not end here as the list goes on. Oprah has been also a close friend of the Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein. He has also been accused of carrying out illegal activities in Hollywood involving young ones. Oh. Finally, I'd like to thank Harvey Weinstein, um, the Punisher, that's his nickname. The Punisher, yes. Many celebrities like Rose McGowan accused Oprah of supporting Harvey Weinstein while knowing that he has been involved in crime. Rose McGowan publicly accused Oprah Winfrey of being as fake as they come, criticizing the television mogul for her previous friendships with convicted Harvey Weinstein and Russell Simmons, who has faced charges of misconduct. This is what I do know for sure. When something this major happens, when you have the fallout, 50 women coming forward, that it's a watershed moment. And McGowan wrote, I am glad more are seeing the ugly truth of it, Oprah. I wish she were real, but she isn't. From being pals with Weinstein to abandoning and destroying Russell Simmons' victims, she is about supporting a sick power structure for personal gain. She is as fake as they come. Hash Lizard Seal also claimed that Oprah Winfrey knew about Harvey Weinstein's harmful behavior towards young women for decades, but didn't take any action. On his Instagram, he wrote, Oh, I forgot, that's right. You'd heard the rumors, but you had no idea he was actually serially assaulting young, starry-eyed actresses, who in turn had no idea what they were getting into. My bad, the singer said in the post, which accompanied a meme of Winfrey and Weinstein. When you have been part of the problem for decades, but suddenly they all think you are the solution. Although there's no evidence that Oprah was aware of Harvey Weinstein's actions, it was still disappointing for many people who saw Oprah as a supporter of girls to learn that she was friends with someone who was hurting new celebrities for his own gain. A photo of Oprah kissing Weinstein on the cheek went viral, leading to accusations that she knew about his actions. Just when we thought this drama couldn't get any stranger, another name entered the picture. It's none other than Bishop T.D. Jakes. Although known for her cheerful demeanor, media tycoon Oprah Winfrey shared that she faced challenging moments in her life. She credits Bishop T.D. Jakes for helping her through one of the lowest points she experienced. I am questioning whatever is going on in my life. You are one of the first people I call. And when Jake shared his sermon titled Save the Scraps on Twitter on October 26th, Winfrey retweeted the message to her 34 million followers saying, this sermon helped me when I was at my lowest. In Jake's sermon, he talked about waiting for God to arrange things properly before providing miraculous blessings to people. The best miracles in your life take time to not be driven by hunger or need or necessity. Sometimes you've got to get yourself structured and in order so that you're ready to receive the magnitude of what God has for you, Jake said in the sermon. Winfrey has frequently expressed her admiration for Jake and even sought his counsel before releasing her TV church drama Greenleaf earlier this year. She wanted to ensure his approval and assure him that the series was not inspired by him, his family, or his congregation. She said, I spoke to T.D. Jakes and said, I just want you to know I'm doing a show about a megachurch, and the only resemblance to you is that our main character is called Bishop, and you're a bishop. And he says, I'm happy to hear that because I've heard some things about it. I said, I just want you to know, from my lips to your ears, I have nothing but deep respect and regard for the church. I, Oprah Winfrey, am going to do nothing, ever, that disrespects the church. It appears that the people Oprah looks up to are often the ones who end up tarnishing her reputation. Recently, rumors about Jake have been circulating on the internet, with social media users claiming that the preacher attended sensual parties hosted by Diddy and questioned his morals.
In the past, being associated with Diddy wasn't necessarily seen as taboo. However, due to multiple assault lawsuits against him, including one settled with his ex Cassie, relationships with him are now being closely scrutinized. Many people speculate that what Wendy Williams has been hinting at may have been true for a long time. However, it only came to light after Sherry Shepard was replaced instead of her on the show. This led many to believe that Shepard was replaced to prevent the truth from being revealed, as Williams' speculations have caused enough trouble for celebrities in Hollywood. While Oprah's connections with these troubled individuals may not be a coincidence, many people are hopeful that Hollywood will become a safe place for newcomers to work without fear of being taken advantage of. A user said she's always exploited people and their pain for her own benefit. This is one of her BFFs and that shows a lot about her morality or lack thereof. That's it for today's video guys, thanks for watching.